Alright, hi everybody, and welcome to Admiral Wars. I'm going to be going through uh, how to play today, uh, and uh, go through the tutorial. Uh, so here we have our main screen, or our, our, our main hub. Uh, we haven't started the game yet. We have a bunch of different screens that we can interact with. Uh, this goes over the uh, latest updates. I'm going to hop around to the tutorial there. The way that I interact with this menu is that uh, you take your hand, and you hold the grip button, and then th this finger can be up or down. Um, this is a pattern that's used in a couple other experiences. And then as long as the finger isn't down like this, which is that it's touching the trigger, then I can hit tutorial. And then now that puts us here. Uh, I'm going to say ready. Welcome to the bridge, Admiral. From here, you'll command your fleet to glorious victory. Let's practice a simple skirmish. For this exercise, you'll have your carrier, a PT boat, and a destroyer. The enemy only has their carrier deployed. Awesome. First, let's set the path for your PT boat. Select your unit, and then hold in the right trigger button to draw a path for them. Uh, so, if you get lost at any time, we have videos to the left that show the actions of what you need to do to complete the tutorial. Uh, and then here we have our main screen. Uh, let's go over all the different controls. So first we have this rotation handle here. This will rotate uh, the map. Uh, down here we have a position handle. Um, this allows you to translate it uh, in, in space and to get it closer to you. Uh, this tilts it, so like let's say you're, you wanna lie down or you wanna at a more comfortable angle so you're not looking down. Uh, you can adjust that. Uh, these handles work similarly. Uh, let's say I want to put this here. Uh, and then we can interact. This is actually a button to switch the screen. And then we have a couple different screen modes. And this is actually our mini-map view. And you can interact with this. And it actually affects the main map as well. The white circles represent our units. And then you can actually zoom in and out using uh, using this. And then these buttons control different uh, aspects, like if you see their attack circles, for instance. So now the attack radius circles disappear. And then this acts as a little gallery. We have a new UX update designed for this. We haven't implemented it yet, but this gives you a little bit more information on what the different units do and what they can attack. All right, let's put that back here. Just based on uh, head position. Uh, all right, so let's select the unit. Now, there's two different ways that we can select a unit. We can either use our pointer to uh, manually hover over the icon to select it, or what we can do is we can select from this menu. So here's an example of selecting with that icon. Now we get this attack menu. Want this menu to disappear? We can actually just click on the unit again. Um, and then we can actually see the target. Uh, it doesn't appear on our like radar, but it does. We can see it visually in the real world, and that's the carrier that we're going after. So I'm going to uh, zoom out a bit. There's the island that we want to go, and then I'm going to uh, select it to go there, where I think the great work. Enemy is. Now try to locate the enemy carrier using your PT boat. You can get there faster by changing the attack order. However, in this mode, your PT boat will be unable to attack. So here we have a couple different options. This is the uh, self-destruct option. This is the scouting option, which is where it's in now where it can attack things, but it doesn't have as big of a vision. And this is what Asher told us to do, which is to go double speed. So you can also that. launch jets from your carrier to help find that enemy ship. The scout jet has the highest visibility of any unit. Try launching one now to help search. So let's select our ship. Great work. This you carrier. found the enemy. Move your destroyer nearby to begin attacking their carrier. Destroyers specialize in taking down enemy ships. So uh, first let's do the scout jet to show how that works. So we have all these jets on our, our carrier. Uh, you can see our carrier is right here. Um, I can select it either way. And then I'm going to select the scout jet and I'm going to send it towards the enemy. And then you can see it goes down and then pops off. So uh, as you can see in the video, the next thing we want to do, and as he said, is we want to have the destroyer go into attack. 
So we're going to select our destroyer. And we're While you're waiting for the destroyer to arrive, you can send in a bomber, which is also designed to assault enemy ships. You might notice the fighter jet as well. These are perfect for combating other aircraft. All right, so uh, let's go return to our ship and then select this one, which is the bomber, and then send that out after the enemy ship. Uh, a couple other things while we wait. So um, for those who are uh, left-hand dominant, you can actually use the primary button on the controller to toggle uh, the um, laser over to that side. Uh, and then I don't know if I mentioned this, but we actually do have the scale knob here. Um, one thing that's interesting is that if you select any of the units, it will center the map around them. Uh, so as they move, uh, the map will be centered to them, but then you can grab the map and then it's it, it's not centered anymore, but if you want to center it again, you can just... Fantastic! Each unit also has a special attack. Try using the destroyer's missile barrage to damage the enemy carrier. Yeah, so every single unit has a... Sp or not every single unit, but some units have um, special attacks. At the top here, you can see a special attack. So we can select this, and then we can select our target, which here is the enemy carrier. Great hit! That. Let's finish off that carrier with an ultimate attack! Yeah, so the ultimate attack, you can only use that once per game, and uh, it will destroy an enemy. Uh, in normal gameplay, you can't actually target carriers with the ultimate attack, but here in the tutorial, we allow you to do that. So, I'm going to select it, and then you see it spawn, and then if we look out and watch, you can see that the... Uh, enemy is getting consumed by it. Incredible! You've sunk the enemy capital ship! You're now ready to command a full fleet and battle other commanders on the high seas. Awesome, and we won. Uh, thank you so much for uh, following the tutorial, and please let us know if you have any additional questions.